In this demonstration, I'm going to use my live demo system to show you token provisioning using QR codes. QR codes are a natural standardized encoding mechanism for URLs. In this case, it is the auto-generated URL for dynamic seed provisioning. This is automatically generated by the system newly released in Authentication Manager version 8.1. In this example, I am using a dedicated user called QR code in order to illustrate this. QR code will log into the self-service console simply using his Active Directory credentials. And the process differs from what I may have shown earlier in that I have no admin approvals necessary in order to obtain a token. There are zero approvals, which means that QR code will automatically be issued a token based on the strength of his Active Directory credentials. There are many options in terms of locking down this process, but for simplicity, I have elected to have zero approvals. But obviously, the first step in the process is to have this user request a new token. And in this case, he will be selecting a software token profile that is specific to QR codes. Also part and parcel to this procedure is, of course, establishing a PIN for him and an optional justification. Once the request is done, as stated, it is auto-approved. And the message that you might notice is that the system will instruct you to activate your token with the link below. As you can see, the token has been issued, it has a pin assigned, but is obviously not activated yet. The activation involves the user, and it actually involves the user who has the RSA soft token app on their handset. Clicking activate will reveal a QR code. And it just so happens that I have a live demo environment with my Android handset. In the bottom right hand corner is a scan QR code button. This will launch the inbuilt camera of the handset. The application and the camera also auto sense a QR code on the screen. If I resize the window, you'll have a better view of it. As you can see, I'm looking at my keyboard right now. But once I point this at the screen with a QR code, it will be automatically sensed. And the token will be imported Once that is finished, the token has been dy dynamically generated and stored for use. And since the workflow incorporates generating a pin for this user, the token is ready to be used. Thank you very much for watching this demo. I hope it was informative.